Hi, this is the A to V project Gato. Among many things, it can be used to create clock divisions, quantize patterns, turn a steady clock into a variety of complex patterns, generate legato, sub oscillators, and much more. The function of this module is defined by the way it's patched, and therefore really rewards creative patching. This logic module consists of two identical sections, one on the left and one on the right. Each section has a clock input and a data input. Based on those inputs, it generates two related outputs called A and non-A for the first section and B and non-B for the second. Here on the top, you find a mode switch, selectable between gate mode and legato mode. The modes on each section can also be changed via the CV inputs right here. The module can be used for many things, but first let's have a look at its basic concept. Whenever the module receives a gate or trigger in the clock input, it checks if the voltage in the data input has been high, or in other words, past a threshold of 1 volt since the clock's last rising edge. If that's true, output A goes high and sends out a 10 volt gate, and output non A goes low and sends no signal. If the data input has not been high since the last clock, output A goes low and output non-A goes high. To visualize this concept over time, here you see a steady clock fed into the clock input, and below it an unsynced bipolar triangle LFO fed into the data input. Every time the clock input receives a trigger, if the data input has been high since the last trigger, output A goes high, non-A goes low, and the other way around. This gives you a huge variety of quantized patterns, based on what you feed into the data input. The two different modes give you the possibility to set the behavior of the output signals. In gate mode, the LED lights up with the signal on the clock input, and in legato mode, the LED is constantly lit. In gate mode, output A and non-A send out a gate or trigger with a similar length as the clock input, like we see here. But in legato mode, the outputs A and non-A stay high or low until the next clock input. This gives you the possibility to create longer continuous gates that can be used anywhere within your modular. The uses of the gato are heavily expanded because there are two identical sections. These can be used independently with their own inputs and outputs, or to create a large variety of signals with some self-patching. There are some internal connections to make this easier. First off, the clock input of the first circuit is normalized to the clock input of the second circuit. Then, output non-A is normalized to the data input of the first circuit. And finally, output A is normalized to the data input of the second circuit. Visualized on the timeline, when you just feed a steady clock into the first section in gate mode, due to the normalization, output A and non-A effectively become a divided by two clock division and output B and non-B send out the inverse version of that. If you set any of the circuits to legato mode, that circuit becomes a divide by 3 clock division. If you patch any of the divisions of the first circuit into the clock input of the second unit, you can also achieve divide by 4 and divide by 6 clock divisions. You can expand the features of the gato even further by chaining multiple units. Each module comes with a connection cable and you can set the module to either lead or follow with a switch on the back. When combining multiple units, beside the regular internal connections, the B output of the first module is normal to the A input of the second, and they effectively act as a shift register. At each clock, the information stored in the first channel is applied to the second, the second to the third, and so on. Finally, because there's a CV input to control the mode, you can use gates or triggers to change the behavior of each section separately and patch up more complex patterns and variations with some internal patching. This simple set of features gives you many possibilities within a modular system, so let's look at some basic patch examples. If nothing is patched into the module, it can be used as a toggle button that can be used to start a sequencer or gate an envelope for example. Without anything else than a clock input, the module can be used as a clock divider to divide by 2, 3, 4 and 6. 
and because it's an analog module and it responds very well to audio rate signals, it can be used to generate different sub oscillator divisions as well. Because the gate length of the output follows the length of the clock input, in gate mode you can create a sub oscillator with variable pulse width, for example, if you mix the output of a saw wave oscillator with a slow moving triangle LFO. In gate mode, if you feed the module a steady clock and something like an LFO or random voltage into the data input, you will turn the A output signal into a quantized trigger pattern. But because the gator offers two outputs, one being active when the other isn't, you can use both simultaneously. For example, you can use A to trigger a closed hi-hat and non-A to trigger an open hi-hat. In legato mode, the same concept can be used to create longer gate patterns that are still synced to the clock input. If you use the same inputs as before, triggering an open and closed hi-hat, you create a quantized pattern that only triggers hits when the output changes state. And because the mode input can be controlled with CV, this allows for continuously changing patterns. Changing the mode via CV also triggers the output, so if this is not desired, you can use channel B to quantize the pattern again. You can also feed both the sustained gates from the A and non-A output to two VCAs to create choking between two heads, synth voices or other percussive sounds. With different signals into the data input and some self-patching, a wide variety of patterns can be generated. For example, you can feed the module a steady clock and use the four outputs to trigger different percussive elements like hi-hats, toms and snares. Then you can create variations by experimenting with the different modes and multiplying one or more outputs to self-modulate gator. For example, you can multiply any of the output signals to modulate the clock, data or mode inputs. The module can easily be used to create longer sustained notes in legato mode. For example, when you send an oscillator to a VCA and use a sequencer to create a melody. You can combine the gate output of the sequencer and output of gato in a logic module to create a mix of short gates and longer sustained notes. You can use something like a random voltage to the data input to create interesting variations. Legato mode, the longer sustained gates can be used on pretty much anything within your modular. For example, let's set up a simple modular voice with an oscillator and filter and use a sequencer to create a melody and trigger a short envelope to open the filter to create a plucky melody. Now, if you feed the sequencer's clock to the gato and for example a slow sine wave LFO to the data input, you can use one of the gate outputs to the filter in the simple voice to create occasional sustained notes. Or just to give another example with this fairly similar setup, if you multiply the output of your voice to a VCA, you can use the gate outputs of the gato to open that VCA and send the voice to something like a reverb to create a temporary effect send. The gato is a creative, compact and versatile module that really comes alive with some experimentation. The module is available assembled or as a DIY kit with grey or black panel. If you want to read more about this or any of our other projects, please visit our website.